Welcome to Dress Up Day! Uh, yeah. What, what are we doing today? Um, why aren't you wearing a costume? Uh, why, why are you wearing a costume? Well, it's it's not because it's like Dress Up Day or anything. It's, yeah. That's 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 today. Yeah, dress up day. Yeah, dressing up just really isn't my thing. I just don't really do that. Aren't you the same guy that puts a mustache oh. on your face and dogs in an exit like these? Nah, I, th I think that's another guy. You're also the same guy who is a puppet version of himself. Um, nope, I think that's somebody else. You're gonna go put on that mustache and we're gonna go play that game right now, aren't uh, you? I, I, uh, maybe. Welcome back to the newest game show. You don't even know what you're playing. I know, but I'm you in a chicken costume. You don't even know what you are playing. Are oh, you ready fine. to find out the game you are playing? Indeed. This is a new game. I have a question. It is called Medianware. Oh. It is all about the things that you wear. Do I need my fingers for it? Do you need your fingers? Yeah, for Do this you normally game. need your fingers to play these games? I don't know. No. I've you only been on this one time. Fingers. And did you win? Um, I don't remember, to be completely exactly, honest. Exactly, that's why you are back, because you did not win. Oh, uh, okay. Now, I must remind you about the lifelines. Lifeline number one, I give you the right answer. Right. Lifeline number two, I give you the right answer, but I'm very, very rude about it. Mm. Number three, I give you the wrong answer. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's play. Okay, question number one. Who were the first people to wear shoes? Was it... Men, women, kids, or dogs? Hmm. Did I wear right shoes? I mean heels. High heels. Shoes. They take the heels on them. Ooh. The heel shoes. Not the, not the, not these shoes. Not those aren't even shoes. Like not sandals. those types of shoes. The shoes with the heels. I'm a chicken and sandals. The heels. The heel shoes. Yes. Who wore them first? I need an answer. No. It's gonna be A. Min? Yeah. Boy. I just have a feeling. It's instinct. A. It is the men, the men put on the heels because they want to be taller. Okay, okay, okay. We go to the next one now. You think he's smart. Let's see how smart you are. Okay, the first shoes were made by Amazon Prime, mm. Egyptians, Aztecs, Abraham. Well, Amazon Prime does seem like they do make shoes, but they also are a delivery service, so I wouldn't bet on that. Did you not know what this Amazon is? Why do you have it on your screen? Did you not know? Okay. Um, I don't think it was Abraham. You don't know which Abraham it was? No, I know, and that's why I'm not going to vote maybe for it. Maybe it was a mean, maybe Abraham. Did it, you think about that? It could have been, but there's. It, I, I'm narrowing it down. I think it's going to be the Aztec. The C. East Tips. C. He thinks it is the East Tips. With feathers, I make mm. a C. Let's see. It was oh. the Egyptians. So wrong. Yeah. So wrong. Well, at least we're going to keep Brian. playing. Yeah. We keep playing. Okay. Yeah. Alright, let's see at our next question. This one, I love. <clears throat> the first magician to pull a rabbit out of his hat was. Was it John Van Cleert? Was it. Jesus, Louis, Comte, that pretty, or Houdini, you know the little, the little, the, um, in Star Wars, they grab the robot, they go, Houdini! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the them? Um, with the ones who put the liberty to do it? I think. We need an answer. Yeah. Can I, no. can I use a lifeline so you pick the wrong answer? Yes. Yeah. What is it not? What's Houdini! It it's not Houdini? No. Okay. Do I have to say it like that too? No. Okay. Um, I'm gonna choose A. I think it is John Von Clark. Let's see, it is. No, you're wrong. It is Louis Comindutico! I think it's just Compte. Did you not think you know because you picked the wrong person? That's fair. Let's see, who is Nick on this? Okay, 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 okay. When was the first build made? Between those numbers, 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. today, 386 B.C. or 387 B.C. I think... we say book. I think that 
While 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. is a convincing argument. Today! I did put on a belt at between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. I do not have a belt. I think, what do you think? it's pretty, pretty old. I think it's going to be between 33 and 1200. Okay, let's see. It is. Spain, you get one right. Let's Ooh. see. Let's see the next one. When was the court invented? Was it 1600s, 1700s, 1800s, 1900s? He does not know. I'm gonna take a blind guess here. Close your eyes. I'm gonna say B, 1700s. And he would be in court You realize you lose no chicken costume. But this is mine. Okay, let me keep going. Let's see what is what is next. Okay, we have the uh Panama hats are mainly made in China, Canada, A, Mexico, Ecuador. I'm gonna say it's C. And the correct answer is Ecuador. Oh. Okay, let's let's keep going. Let's I'm see not doing too good at this no, game. No, no, no. One bale of cotton can produce how many pairs of jeans? Is it one? Is it 17? Is it 120 or the 225? I don't know how big a bale of cotton is, but it's I'm gonna, big. I'm gonna assume it's it's pretty low. Okay. Because I think it's like a shock. You factor. think it's like, one? Whoa. Yes. And the answer is 225! Well, I went in the opposite direction than I should have, but it's alright. <laughs> Okay, we keep playing. In the 1920s, jeans were the most popular among politicians, bestias, minus, celestial men. I'm gonna say minors. Minors, and it would get run correct. Okay, Ooh. okay, okay, okay. Back on the right track. Okay. Let's go. We keep playing. On average, how many pairs of jeans does a person own? Three, five, seven, nine. How many do you own? I do not want to know. I do, I do. I do. I'm gonna go with B. Five. It would be oh. seven. I only own five, so. Feels this bad. is your last chance. Tiki, 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 tiki. What brand of sock is the most expensive? Mm. Um, Hades of London, yeah. Filke, Frescani, Arthur George. Two different men. Yeah. Well, because I I'm going to go off the amount of people that made these socks, and that's probably the most expensive, right? Okay, so Arthur George, there's two people, right? Yes. Bres Bresciani, however you say that. I don't know how many people that it sounds like just one. Also with Falke, just one. Harry's of London. There could be so many Harry's. So in many Harry's. So I'm gonna go with Harry's of London. Let's see if you're right. You are right! Congratulations. Wow. Does that mean I get to keep the costume? No, goodbye. <laughs> Alright, boys and girls, it is the dress up version of the Bible verse this week. And because I'm dressed like a chicken, let's just go. Chicken, chicken or nothing. Here we go. Ready? Repeat after me. Anyone who lives without blame walks safely. But anyone who takes a crooked path, cock a doodle doo, will get caught. Proverbs 10 9. Flap, 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 flap. When I wear my costumes, sometimes I do things I don't normally do. When I'm wearing my Superman costume, I fly way higher than I normally do. Or when I'm in my Iron Man costume, I act way more sarcastic than I normally do. But when I'm able to worship God, I can be exactly who I want to be. I can be exactly who I am. And I don't have to do anything different or act like I'm in a costume. So let's stand up together and worship. When I was searching, your love was never far. You made a way to get 
it to me You were the whisper Leading me to your heart Forever I belong to you Now I can see clearly My God, you for me You won't let go Your love won't let me down And I know it's true Yeah, I know that you're Simply no. 
that when we're with you, we don't have to be something we're not. We thank you that you accept us just the way we are. In fact, that's why you died on the cross, just so we could be with you the way that we are. We thank you that you accept us and that you love us and you made a way for us to go to heaven. We love you so much, Jesus. And everybody said together, amen. i be honest with you guys. I honestly really like dressing up, but I completely forgot that today was dress up day. So this makes it pretty, pretty tough because I don't always remember things that well. That makes it difficult because now's the me three and the three things are uh, read, rinse, and repeat. No, 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 those are the directions for laundry. Um, oh man, what is it? I, I can't remember, but here's what I do remember. For this week specifically, we are going to try to memorize a verse together. And I know that's difficult sometimes because just like me today, I obviously forgot about it being dress up day. I'm gonna have to find a costume later on, but here's the important part. We can still memorize things and we can try our best even if we've already forgot some of things. So this week, I want you to memorize that verse that we said earlier whenever we were in those weird costumes or whatever. I want you to memorize that verse because it's gonna be really important for your life. So that's your me three, memorize that verse. Now it's time for our super awesome story today. Now I know what you're thinking. No, I know exactly what you're thinking. And you might be thinking, hey, how's he know what I'm thinking? Wait, he couldn't know what I'm thinking. There's no way. Maybe he doesn't know. Maybe he's really just guessing. No, I know exactly. I know exactly what you're thinking. Oh, wait, maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't, I don't know, he's thinking, he's thinking. And while you're trying to figure out how I knew exactly what you thought, let's get into your story. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story, inspired by the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 18. Ilsa sighed as she trailed along behind her mom at the grocery store. Can I just go wait in the car? 
Mom handed Ilsa a tiny loaf of bread to put into the cart. You need to learn for yourself what you can eat. Nothing. I can't eat anything. Earlier that day, Ilsa had gotten the food sensitivity test results back from the allergist. No gluten, no dairy, no artificial colors or flavors. I don't even know what gluten is. It's in bread and pasta and crackers and a lot of other things. Ilsa grabbed the loaf of bread. And what's this? Gluten-free bread. It looks like cardboard. As they reached the dairy case, Ilsa spotted the new holiday display. Yes, they've got eggnog. She reached for a carton, but mom shook her head. Eggnog has dairy in it, hun. You can't have milk. Let's try this instead. Mom picked up a small carton and handed it to Ilsa. Soy nog? By the time they got home to unload groceries, Ilsa was miserable. You've got to be kidding. What about Sunday dinners? What about Aunt Ellen's stuffing and Grandma's rolls and pie and all the good stuff? We'll find options for you, I promise. Ilsa reached for her plastic pumpkin full of candy on the counter. She grabbed a mini candy bar and then stopped. A sinking feeling in her stomach. I can't eat any of this now, can I? I'm sorry, hun. When Ilsa opened her lunch bag at school the next day, she tried not to groan. A sun butter sandwich with gluten-free bread, a bunch of grapes, a few carrots, and some weird looking oatmeal cookies. Where's my string cheese? Oh, right. Ilsa couldn't bring herself to finish lunch. Her stomach still felt empty as she settled back into her seat at social studies, where their teacher, Mr. Mendel, dimmed the lights for a slideshow. One of the best ways to learn about other cultures is through something we all do every day. Any ideas what that might be? Like what we wear? <laughs> Actually, I'm talking about something we do at least three times a day. Ilsa raised her hand. Eat. We all eat. Bingo! A famous photographer took photos of families all across the world, along with the food that they eat in one week. I want you to pay attention to the details. This first family lives in Great Britain. The first photograph included a family from the United Kingdom. The overflowing table of food included cookies and pizza. Mmm, pizza. Here's a family in southern Italy. The next image showed a family with three small children. The loaves of bread on the counter looked so fresh, Ilsa could practically smell the scent of baking bread. Ooh. This is Germany. The next image showed another table top-loaded with food, but Ilsa could only focus on the container full of ice cream front and center. Yet another thing she could no longer eat. Her stomach rumbled. Here's a family in Bhutan. It's a small country beside India. The next photo showed 12 people with a colorful display of vegetables, a large bag of rice, and a small amount of meat. Ilsa frowned. That's all they eat? It's what they have to work with. This next photograph is from the country of Chad in Central Africa. A family of six sat on the ground. In front of them, a tiny bag of grains, a small amount of beans, and a handful of vegetables. Wait, where's the rest of their food? That's it. For a whole week? Ilsa shook her head. That's just... Ilsa? What are you thinking? I guess I knew that some people don't have the same things to eat that we do, or as much. It's just different, seeing it. The colorful photos haunted Ilsa for the rest of the afternoon. She was quiet as she took off her backpack in the kitchen at home. You want a snack, hon? I've got some trail mix. I'm good. Ilsa pulled her lunch bag out of her backpack and opened it up. How was the gluten-free bread? It was... Okay, actually. I'm going to finish my sandwich now. Ilsa took a bite of her sandwich and chewed. It wasn't like regular bread, but she could get used to it. What's that thing Grandma always says before dinner? What thing? I don't... Before the prayer. It's the verse, like say thank you, whatever happens. Oh, um, it's from Thessalonians, I think. Mom checked her Bible app. Give thanks no matter what happens. God wants you to thank Him because you believe in Christ Jesus. Yeah. That. Ilsa smiled and took a bite out of one of the oatmeal cookies. Hey, these are really good. Thanks for making stuff I can eat. Ilsa knew it would take some time to adjust her new eating plan, but she was glad for the reminder that she still had a lot to be thankful for. All right, I finally did it. I made a note and I have my costume. It was the best I could come up with, but I, uh, I think I could... 
Why, why aren't you in costume anymore? Oh, we're done with that now. I mean, we're done with that. It took me forever to get this thing. That was like a, you know, like beginning of the episode thing, it's dress up day, and it's the end of the episode, so, you know. Also, a ref? You're only, you just put on a t-shirt. Foul! Cue the band. <laughs> Thank you.